I am Tasha May, the founder of Advocacy Queen. What is Advocacy Queen? We are a fiscally sponsored nonprofit that exists because people need help getting help. In a couple of months, a Choose You conference, which is a two-day women's experience that is about mental health, empowerment, growth, and living your best life. It's about learning to advocate for yourself, advocate for your healing. And so I'm very excited about tonight's guest because she is one of our Choose You Experience speakers. Her particular topic or segment, if you will, during um, February's event is called Familiarity Breeds Content. The people sometimes closest to us, family members, people who know our good, bad, and ugly, people who have known us all our lives, tend to be the biggest barriers to our opportunity, the biggest barriers to our healing, the biggest barriers to us living our best life. And this woman, Darnisha Weary, is a advocate herself. She is also an activist. She is a community leader. She is breaking down barriers, not just in the community, but for herself and for her family. Thank you so much for joining me this Sunday night. Why did you say yes to being at um, CYE? And um, what can we look forward to from you? Yes, everyone. Hello, and thank you so much for having me here. I'm so honored to be actually on this platform with you. Um, if people don't know, we've known each other. We're, we're childhood friends, and Tasha has seen and witnessed. You know, sometimes that's really important to have someone that has seen you and seen your growth and seen your stuff, and has been a cheerleader along the way. And so I just thank you so much for that. And that's a part of the reason why I did say yes, right? And then mm -hmm. just choosing you. Like, this is my year to choose me. And I'm doing it unapologetically. Um, it, it, I just want to share that with other women. I am 45 years old. I'm an intimester. I'm in a different phase in my life right now. I am doing things differently. I'm changing up a lot. And I just want to share myself with others. And hopefully that my experience and journey can be cliff notes for you, or it can heal you, or it can validate things in you, because it's time for us to choose us and live for us. And I don't want people to wait until they're 45. If I can help you when you're way younger, because that's my job, right? Um, just to make sure I share. And so that's why I said yes. And what you're gonna hear at this, I'm so excited for this this experience. And, and it was named Experience on yep. Purpose, intentionally, yep. right? This is well thought out. It's an experience because Familiarity is both a blessing and both a blessing and a curse, <laughs> right? Um, when you are in a transformative part in your life, when you are choosing different, um, when you are learning to thrive and move out of survival mode, which is where I've stayed my whole life, those who are most familiar with you are going to have a hard time watching you mm. push through and survive through things that drown them. Watching you liber be liberated and work hard through things that took them out. Mm. And I just had to come to the place of being like, you know what, that's okay. That's just because they're hurt. They're, they're going through their own things they need to go through. It has nothing to do with me. And mm. I will not let that stop me from living my life and doing the work that I need to do to do better and I'm not just doing it for me I am teaching a living example for my daughter how to live her life and not to live mm. in survival mode that generational curse stops with me period mm. period that's so I great. See, yeah period like that that's the one she will be a woman who lives her life wow I mean I that just even in itself Darnisha talking about how people can feel some type of way because they weren't the generational curse breaker, okay? And it didn't stop with them. They, they were a perpetuator for whatever reason. Maybe, you know, they didn't have the strength or didn't have the tools or they didn't know or they were just going with the flow, but there can be a lot of pain attached to doing that because that's not what everyone else is doing. Um, and it's even harder when you are isolated in your, and maybe your own family or your own circle because you're choosing to do different. Um, but as a result, that's yielded some some tough things for you, but like some really good fruit. Um, and give us just a little bit of the, you know, what I call the good fruit, you guys, because the choose you moments are very, very imp important. But our testimony is also very important because when I look at you, Darnisha, and I, because I know your story, y'all gonna find out later. But um, 
I know you. And it's like, there's no way that that story matches up with the woman I see on the screen, okay? And so if you could just share a little bit of the other side of your Choose You moment um, with us. Yeah, I mean, touch is correct, like from my one bedroom apartment in Groot Avenue, <laughs> just having a baby at 21, just trying to figure out my life, right? I decided now, 20 years later, that I was going to just do that, just choose me, just those words, right? I'm just gonna wake up every day. And I've learned that my daily affirmations of like, I am this, I am, I've changed that to say you are. You are powerful, you are fierce, you can stand tall, walk through this world, you will make mistakes. And that's okay, a mistake is a mistake, you will move on, you will be fine. I've had to do a lot of like self-soothing through this process and that's fine, like just be prepared for that. Be prepared to have to hold yourself sometimes or drop to your knees and pray and just say, God, like only you're gonna give me the strength to get through this. Um, when when people have turned their back on me, when people have talked about me in my family, um, still to this day, you know, there's a time where I have to just say that doesn't matter, I have to live my life. And I have to live the life that's destined for me. The passion, the purpose that God put in me never goes to sleep. I wish it did, trust me, because I'd be tired. Listen, listen. <laughs> I wish I was okay with being just a nine to five, basic. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'd be tired, okay? I'm like, what? And the, the thoughts, the ideas, it never stops coming. Right. I'm always, I'm just an entrepreneur. I am a visionary. God, that is who I am. Mm -hmm. It will never stop. And I just have to continue to take care of myself. So I can give. And mm -hmm. so choosing you, choosing myself also means that I'm going to be so much better yes. for everyone else. Yes. Yes. That is, now that right there, that's real talk. And I think that some people have felt like the choose you mantra is, oh, it's selfish. It's this, it's that. And I'm like, absolutely not. Secure your oxygen mask first, because if you can't breathe, you're suffocating, who are you gonna help? So I would like to hear from you as well. Why do you believe that a woman should invest in herself to come to this event? It's $400 because it's, it's an, a robust event. I mean, this is like three meals a day. This is action packed speakers. It's all day. I mean, I was just invited to some a breakfast that was $200 for the one hour event, right? And this is to invest in their vision and their thing. So why would you not get you know, roughly 22 hours of just pouring into yourself. What would you have to share about that? Gosh, that, that's a really great question. As I was thinking, I'm a vision. Things always just come in my head. Like I am a visual person. And I was just thinking about like your car maintenance, right? Like you want your car to run, it's gonna get you from point A to point B. But maintenance has to happen. It, you have to get an oil change. You gotta change your tires. And if you don't, it, one day you're gonna get in that car and it ain't, tell me how I know. Okay, look, I just tell me how I know. Why are you reading my mail right now? I'm like, <laughs> engine like, that. like, if you don't do it, you're gonna get in your car one day and you have your you have a destination and maybe everything is lined up and ready to go. And you're gonna get in that car and you're not gonna be able to go there. And mm. I was afraid of that. I was like, Lord, wonder if I actually wake up and all everything I prayed for is right there. But I physically can't even do mm. the work. Mm. I physically or mentally or emotionally can't even do it. You mm. have to invest in yourself. So take that four hundred dollars and budget it out. Look, we all my bank account. Look, listen, okay. That's all I gotta say about that. Budget it. Budget it out every, you know, and and make yourself a priority and just say, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna figure a way how to get there. Um, if it's like, I'm not gonna drink coffee this week, I have a great place where you can get coffee. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanna skip the other, but do it, do it, just do it. Don't think about it, don't overthink it. I'm a master overthinker. If there was a degree for that, I would have 12 of them. Do not overthink it. Just say, I'm gonna do this for myself and go on the website and be there. You want to be in this space because it's gonna fill you up. It's gonna be honest, it's going to be raw. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be all moments of like butterfly, good feel. We're gonna get to the nitty gritty, uncover it all. So we can set ourselves up for the rest of 2024 and beyond to be excellent and great and walk in our purpose and walk in our purpose and do what we gotta do. Because I know it's all within us. And sometimes we just gotta go in there and dig it out. Yeah. <laughs>